turn to us um, either when there's distractions or when we cross a threshold like going outside um, and also just respond to us when we call their name. So with whiplash turn what we're doing is we're reinforcing our dog for turning back to us very quickly. We're going to start by using their name because we've already built a reinforcement history with their name so they should turn as soon as they hear it but then we're gonna stop using their names so that we actually see that they automatically turn to us. And then we're gonna reinforce that decision so it's gonna happen more likely in the future. So I'm gonna demonstrate how this looks. I'm gonna start by placing a treat down on the ground for Jane. I'm gonna have my clicker at the ready. I'm gonna sneak behind Jane while she's eating that treat. As soon as she eats it, I'm gonna say her name, click when she turns to me and place another treat down. While she eats that, I'm just going to repeat, go behind her, say her name, click, and when she, when she turns to me. So I'm going to demonstrate what this looks like. Jane. 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 Once I've built that pattern with my dog, now I'm going to try without her name. So I'm going to place that treat down. I'm going to let her eat it and then I'm gonna wait for her to turn to me. Now I've built this nice pattern, so she's going to turn to me because there's reinforcement history there. When she does, I'm gonna click, put another treat down, and we're gonna repeat that pattern. So that is how we teach the whiplash turn. 